Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, man. Look at that. Ice and dirt. Oh, hello there, Freddy. Do you want to get in the front seat? Come on, buddy. Let's go. Oh, oh there you go, Freddy. Is that better? Yeah. Fred, he's a good old boy. Look at him. He's like, thanks, Dad. I appreciate it, man. But as you can tell, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere on a dirt road. And it's cold, cold, cold. It's sitting at 28 degrees, I think, the wind chill. Let's check it. Woo, it is cold, cold. Fred's been riding in back, but today it's too cold. Feels like 19. My goodness, it's cold. But out here in the middle of nowhere, like I said, and uh, I'm scouting turkeys. And I uh, got to think it. Put two and two together, and I just put up that cinnamon till video and i've had a ton of comments you guys saying bobby we love that big camera footage now like i'm saying i, I put two and two together uh the turkeys have not split up whatsoever uh but we got a ton of ducks a ton of puddle ducks and all the mallards all the big ducks have really pushed north but puddle ducks holy cow we got an assortment and at the park with this cold i'm sure there's a couple more bands there. So we're going to walk through the park uh, here in, I don't know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes for you guys. And we're going to count how many bands are at the park. Yesterday's video, we counted three. I think there's a lot more there. We're going to take a gander. And we'll be able to take a better look at that club foot goose that I showed y'all. I can get actually closer and, and show y'all what's really going on. But you ready to get on the road, Fred? You ready to get on the road, man? You ready to go? You want to, Freddy? Look at him. He's still a puppy. Oh, but it is a good morning. It is a lovely Saturday morning. Extremely cold, uh, but I want to just put out a little public service announcement, I guess you could call it. Be safe out there, y'all. These times, uh, they could be a lot more critical than they are. Maybe they're not as critical as they seem. Who knows? It's just crazy out here right now. Everything's so hectic. I urge y'all, to stay positive, it's time to build some memories. You know what I mean? Amongst all this craziness, at least at home, you could be building memories. You know what I mean? Same thing as last time. Look at that. I pull up, and that group of ducks jumps up. It's mostly till again. Jumps up and floats right on over there. That's quite a, that's a good little pocket. But with these ducks all being here like this, I figured, you know what? While we have the time, while they're here, let's get out this big lens. Let's see if we can uh, learn it up a little bit. And let's enjoy these ducks while they're here. But if you guys like these videos like this, be sure to hit that thumbs up for me. That lets me know you guys want more of them. Look at this some teal right up against <laughs> right where the cows are that's hilarious the cow will bend over and get a drink his head is literally right by the teal a lonely hunker out there he's a little farther than I thought I can't tell if he's banded or not gee many Christmas look at that That's pretty. Landing all the way back in that little puddle. Woo, they're out there. All teal. They're diving in this structure all around these little trees like this. That other group just landed right out there. Beautiful birds right now. The plumage on these birds right now is just magnificent. Well, here we go, another little pot of teal. Uh, I just missed filming a group of about, it was the same water hole, just like this. There's sheet water like this everywhere right now, and the teal are stuffed in it. I just missed a group of about 100 that, uh, I'm in my truck, so when you pull up, like, I actually stopped quite a ways back on this group, but if I go forward at all, they're just going to jump up, so... All these teal, they're skittish, and they 
Do not hang around if you're bothering them. Oh, watch this. Here comes a group landing. Here comes some more. <laughs> this is the group that I bumped up when I drove by and I just stopped and now they're coming back. Awesome. That is beautiful. Old Frederick. He's over here watching out the window with me. I can't film him because his lens is too big. But that's beautiful. Boy, howdy, here's another spot. When I say we have a lot of teal, I mean we have a ton of teal. Crazy. Beautiful though. Kansas is holding some water right now on this return migration. And we get to hold a lot of ducks for a little while. Well, we are here out at uh, Preston's Marsh, just driving by. I'm still on the road. And with this lens, my goodness, like I said, I am able to provide a lot of content like this that I have never been able to. Game changer. Don't you all think? If you guys like this, again, I know I've asked already once, but if you guys like this big footage here, let me know. Hit that, sm smash that thumbs up button. Let's get this video over 2,000 likes. It's been a while. But here we are, scanning Preston's Marsh. As you have seen a couple times, you can actually see the uh, pit blinds out there. They're not so pity anymore. Due to them popping up, the anchor's breaking loose. Here's the other side. There's some more ducks. Here we go. Check that out. There's quite a bit on there now. Awesome little water hole. You imagine hunting that bad little boy? Well, it is a couple days later and we're at the old house. It is a beautiful day, let me tell you what. And the other day, which was, I don't know, it was a couple days ago. Fred here, let's go. It was so cloudy, so gloomy that I put two and two together. I was like, Bob, just hold off on going to the park and counting goose bands due to, I need this, I need sunshine. It makes filming especially the quality of the film with the big lens way better so we're going to get to that in just probably about 30 minutes but eh, probably about a minute and a half for you guys but check it out i wanted to show you all the pigeon loft y'all have been asking about the pigeon loft a lot and believe me yes they are coming to the new house we got to build a new loft i'm building a lodge and a loft and all kinds of lodges and lofts but here they are they're doing great how's it going girl actually i don't know if you're a girl or a boy the old pigeons are looking gravy looking good now due to some weather that came in we lost our two white babies yeah wasn't fun i showed up and they're in here and we had a spell come in it was a cold spell it was a whole icing everything got coated in ice and uh, the high one day was like 22 degrees that lasted for a couple days and the babies just did not make it so it's a bummer but check out our really pretty baby check him out he's not such a baby anymore they grow so fast it's insane but he's gorgeous he's got an awesome piebald neck and a ring around his neck he's a beauty oh hi frederick sit sit Oh, good boy, Frederick. Do you miss the old house, buddy? You kind of seem like it. There's no way he misses the old house. He loves a whole new area of the new house. The only thing that he doesn't like at the new house, look, he's still sitting. Come on, dude. Fred, here. Come on. Let's go. Let's load up. Let's go. He's such a good boy. He wants to do exactly what I say all the time. That's just what he wants to do. Load up. Good boy. He's my dude. 
But like I was saying, the only thing he doesn't like at the new house is all the stickers. The sand out there, it's nothing but stickers. So he's having to learn how to avoid stickers, but uh, he's not learning too fast. Cause all the time you see him limping and you gotta help him out. Well, we are here and boy, howdy, there's a lot of geese here. Uh, I'm gonna get out of the truck. I'm gonna throw on the big lens. I'm not gonna be able to vlog like this. Uh, so I'll just be talking into the camera and we'll be filming them. So let's roll, I'm excited. There's one, three. I think I'm at three, right? Okay, those aren't, yep, three. And he's right there. Got close, I'm getting one. Okay, guys, where are you at? Oh, look at these ducks under your chicken table. These park geese are just so used to being around people. Still checking for bands here. Nothing. These ones against the water ones are laying down or some these are all laying down I can't tell and I really don't want to disrupt them we do have a lot of geese in the water as well definitely can't count bands when they're swimming all right these are oh there's four I think we're at four he's laying down I'm kind of making a mat over here trying to how you doing buddy are you banded yes Five. Where's the rest of them? Right here. No band. No band. Mallard. Look at that beauty mallard. Buddy behind you isn't banded. And then we have a swimmer out there. Hey, buddy. Why don't you uh, move out from behind that rock so I can see your legs? How about that? He said no. Okay. Let's check your buddies behind you. Ooh, look at that. That's five. Nice. Six. Uh, three new birds. Four. I uh, can't see him. Yeah, I don't think. Nope. I can't see your legs, buddy. You're going to have to walk on up the hill here. How about that? Man, they don't want to listen to me today. <laughs> just sat down well I can't really get any closer to these birds these are new birds uh, I miscounted before so we're just gonna say six this is seven no. one of these are banded I've already seen them. that is a lesser laying right there in the middle of the screen that's not a honker oh he's banded behind him that's eight Eight total so far. Look at that little lesser. Look at him. Look how small he is compared to them honkers. <laughs> Cute little dude, huh? That's what we uh, have uh, primarily here in Kansas. What we hunt a bunch in the fields. When I say lessers, there you go. There's a good comparison right there. Good size comparison. There's one coming out of the water. Ooh, he's banded. That is nine. Yep, right leg. Good looking old honker. That is nine bands so far here at the park. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. And you know, some of them, just like that one behind the tree, he still hasn't stood up. So between him and all the rest of them that are out here swimming around and laying down, I'm sure there's another four or five that we haven't even been able to tell, you know? Well, that was successful. That was a lot more successful than I thought it was actually gonna be. When I seen how many were actually in the water and laying down, I'm like, Boy, howdy, we're not gonna be able to count any of them. And now, I'm glad we got here when we did because they're all in the water now. Check it out. 
Oh my goodness. It's gotta be a farm duck. Looks like a blonde mallard. What in the world? Well, like always in this video, I think this is the third time that I've said, well, it's a couple days later. I hope you guys are liking the Foul Fridays. Uh, this one was a little different for a Foul Friday, but I figured all of my waterfowl hunters out there would enjoy this one. Uh, I've been waiting to do that video up until I had this lens. Not this lens, but my big lens. It took a while to get that lens. And that thing was not cheap. It's my pride and joy, and uh, it's gonna bring a lot of new content to the channel, especially come waterfowl hunt season, y'all. You can imagine those big wads of geese doing it close and zoomed in in them. Oh, it's gonna look good. Oh, come on, buddy. It's time to do our Foul Friday where we read everybody's letters. Hi there, buddy. What you been doing, man? Yes, indeed. It's that time. It seems like the scene always changes. Now we got a bunch of decoys everywhere. Just decoys. But we still got the old flower chair. Here's our mail today. One letter, a mysterious package, and a mysterious box. Now, this is the first time we've got packages like these in the old P.O. box. They're mysterious. I don't know what's in them. Actually, I do know what's in the cardboard box because it looked really suspicious and I had to open it right away. It's actually really cool. Uh, we usually have just letters, but today we got some mysterious packages. If you guys want to send something for me to open during the Foul Fridays, every Foul Friday, just like this, at the end, I open y'all's mail. So, like I said, the P.O. box is linked down in the description below. Go down there. If you guys want to send something, just make sure it's legal, make sure it's safe, appropriate respectable please oh come here buddy come here oh come on take your seat take your seat that's a good dog old frederick he loves being in the foul fridays and you guys love watching them while i sit here and talk so first up i think we're going to save the mysterious packages for last first up letter this is from tanya uh from billings montana I love Montana. I've been there one time in my life and it's absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Bobby Guy Films. I watch your videos on YouTube. I've been watching you for a year now. You are the best YouTuber hunter I've ever watched. How is Fred doing? He's doing awesome, obviously. You've helped me a lot and my dad loves your videos. Can you please do a video where you have a 410, 20 gauge, and a 12 gauge? And with those three guns, you could kill a bird that is legal to shoot. Hey, Caleb. Big shout out to you, buddy. We're always wanting to be legal out here. Don't, bo don't go shooting anything and everything out there. That's a good statement, Caleb. And that's actually a really good video idea. I believe my buddy Jordan did that video and I've been telling him that I needed to do it as well. So I will get that video on the way. It might be from the dairy farm, but either way. Uh, next up, just because I know what it is, this is r actually really, really, really cool. This guy uh, messaged me on Instagram and he was like, Hey, I just got done uh, snow goose conservation hunting. Uh, I have some mounts uh, that are left over. Would you want one? He didn't specify what it was, but this is in fact what it is. First, I was like, what is going on here? But as you can tell, that is the skull, a very nice cleaned, boiled down skull of a snow goose. Now, I believe these are called European mounts. I'm not good with uh, terminology in the mounting department, but I believe this is a European mount of a snow goose. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me down below, but it's kind of falling apart. I want to be really delicate with it. We're going to leave it in the bag until I get a little display case or something for it to be in. But at first I was like, ew, what the heck? But it's actually really cool. Little European mounted snow goose head. Very unique very unique uh i appreciate it and he did send a little note <laughs> he starts it with yeah <laughs> i've been a subscriber uh since you got fred that's awesome man that's been right at a year ago buddy he said the school was one of the few uh snows we down on our recent trip to missouri i did a few snow skulls for the outfitter as a gift i do taxidermy skulls for fun hence my Instagram, and uh, didn't hear of anyone doing bird skulls. Yes, he does. His name is uh, Jake Dudley. His Instagram handle is jdudley underscore 113 if you want to get a uh, skull done by him. But dude, thanks, Jake. That is a one-of-a-kind uh, gift. That is an awesome, an awesome gift. Thank you so much. You didn't have to do that, but uh, that will be going in the lodge for sure. Very unique. Thank you, Jake. 
Now this one here, I have not opened up yet at all. I might need a knife. Set, Fred. Set. Alrighty, I'm back, I'm back. Good boy, Fred, for staying. Uh, this is from Daniel Gardner. I think I remember you getting a hold of me. What do we have here? Fred, look, check it out, buddy. What is this? Ooh, hoo hoo. Look at that game tote. That is fancy. Check it out, Frederick. These all come off. These are all game totes. Golden quick releases. Ooh, you did it up, dude. Daniel. Wow. You are you are talented, my man. Let's see what he sent. The note. Here it is. Look how calm he is now. I mean, he's just here, buddy. Up here. Come here. Come up here. That's a good boy. He's just a calm boy. Okay, uh, Danny Gardner, Daniel. Um, he says, congrats on the new house and the start of Sand Hill Flyway. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate it. I've been watching your videos, Bobby Guy Films videos, before Freddy. And love your dynamic with him and in Off the Hunts. Like most, I cannot get enough of the waterfowl videos, but do you really enjoy the other non waterfowl related content slash adventures keep up the great work and then he has a lot to say which i'll read the rest of that here in a, here in a minute uh your question do i enjoy all the other adventures i do whether it's fishing magnet fishing anything other than waterfowl maybe pigeon starling dairy guys if i didn't enjoy being a personality for you guys and being uh the host of this show, what is now a show, you know, it's not just a YouTube channel, you know, to me, it's a show that I, that I have to keep going and, and be creative. And, and uh, I'll tell you, I found my passion when I found this YouTube channel, when, when we grew it, when I made the decision, Bobby, put your, put your nose to the grindstone and get this thing going. Don't give up. So I would say every single video that I put up, I enjoy making. If I didn't, I would not continue doing this. I promise you that. Uh, you guys make it easy to enjoy this. You guys make it easy for Freddie and I, for me, to keep going year after year after year. So who knows how long we're going to be putting up videos. Who knows? Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to be for a long time to come. As long as you guys stick around uh, and be here and enjoy the videos and do what we're already doing, we ain't going nowhere. And, and even then, you know... We got the lodge now. There's there's going to be a lot of new content in the hunts, and we're going to have a lot of you guys here that have booked hunts that are going to be on the videos, and it's just going to be way different, but so much better, so much more content and opportunity. Guys, I love what I do. Uh, it is a ton of work. I have to go, 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 like any other business owner. Uh, you plan. You have to stay humble. You have to prioritize your days. You can't just be lazy. You got to plan for the next day. Okay, what am I going to do the next day? So, um, I was never a business owner before. I was never my own boss until this took off. So, that being said, all that, thank you guys so much for always being here and supporting me. Uh, you guys supported me through Fred when I didn't even know if I was going to be able to train my dog enough to be a hunting dog, you know, and, and I was hoping he was going to be decent. Now look at him. He's a good old boy. He's just a good old boy, Frederico. Daniel, this is an amazing game tote. I appreciate it so much. Whew. It's a little cooler today, but it's not bad. But like I said earlier, if you guys want to send something for me to open during the Foul Friday videos like this one, we're going to be opening them every Foul Friday video at the end of each one of them, guys. So. The P.O. Box, like I said, is linked down in the description below. Send something. Just make sure it's good to go. Make sure it's safe. Make sure it's respectable, please, and legal. If you guys want to directly support the channel, uh, the, the YouTube deal with demonetization and then ad revenue being down during all this, 
If you guys are bored and you want to buy something, go down in the description. Check out the Ducks Waterfowl link. I appreciate all your guys' help. Without you guys being here, supporting me by buying ducks, the channel would not be here as long as we just talked about. So thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little notification bell down there. Shout out to my notification gang. Y'all are awesome. I really, really enjoy seeing y'all's comment right at the get-go. Thank you all so much. But until next time. Cause I've been getting laid back Baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that